What's up everyone? Michael X here, and today we are playing Everyone Has Gone to Rapture. Now, the instantly the instant I heard the title, I was thinking kind of biblical, like Rapture, like everybody's going to heaven. But I don't really know how I should think about the game, but like I said, I, I'm not going to try to stop myself from thinking biblical because that's, that's my thought process. So, we're going to get straight into it. This is kind of different from the usual games we play, hyped up and fast paced and beating up other people. So, this is kind of more slow and intuitive. Everyone's gone to Rapture. Also, when I think Rapture, I'm thinking Bioshock, but I don't think it's that type of Rapture. I looked at a review on it and it was like. This game is just like a movie style, a good sense of stillness. And I was like, well, and then I thought I was on PlayStation Plus since it was free, so. <laughs> uh. All right, choir, one at a time. Here we go. Jimmy, stay on court. Stay on course. Ooh. Sarah, time for that high note. So, I don't really know what to expect from this game. Except this it's not... Dr. Catherine Collins. Excuse me? I don't know if anyone will ever hear this. It's all over. I'm the only one left. So I am Catherine. The observatory here. Hello? Hello, hello? I'm going to continue to broadcast for as long as I am able. If I'm right. You should be able to pick up the signal right across the valley. The event has left markers. We don't understand it yet, but we're going to keep working to try and understand it. You can use them to find what you're looking for. The answers, they're all here. The answers are in the light. The light? Okay. Let me go ahead by saying I apologize if you're not into these type of slow paced games. Again, I really I'm really sorry. Sorry for my end and both your end. Sorry that you're not patient enough to play this. <laughs> sorry that you're not patient enough to, to uh want to look through this game and sorry that I was not able to entertain you with today's video, so Sorry on both ends. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, should I write this down? Crap. Wait, one more time. One, six. One, six, one, four. Four. One, five. One, five. One, six. One, four. One, five. One, seven. Two, five. One, six. 
Okay, I got it. Uh, thank you. I thought I needed one last time. <laughs> Bro, that that computer talking kind of reminded me of a. Uh, the phone, no, the radio from Outlast, when he was, like, speaking, when he was kind of over-talking the other radio guy, going, one, five, six, eight, nine. And then he freaked me out when he was like, look behind you. I said, look behind you. That's what it reminds me of, that phone from... Phone ring? Hello? This is a special announcement by the Emergency Measures Committee. Due to exceptional circumstances, radio and television in this area has been brought under the control of the EMC as per the Crisis Preparedness and Action Bill of 1982. Keep your radio and television on at all times. Stay indoors and avoid contact with other people. Do not attempt to telephone outside your local area. Avoid contact. Do not panic and remain civil and calm. Stay tuned to this station for updates. Hold on now. So, I'm not supposed to panic, but I'm supposed to avoid contact. That seems like the right thing to panic. The right time to pa the panic, like, really. Um, fan. Again, I'm getting the biblical sense of rapture. Because that's why I first, that's what the, that's what the, the uh, terminology first came for, for me. Valus. Oh, that's the L. I don't know why I thought on the wall was like V I V A I. So I thought it was like bias. But it's Dallas. Okay. A deserted van. Moving on up. Moving on up. Moving up. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Uh, the brightness is okay. Keep moving. Hold R2 to build speed. Oh, I can run. Cool. Oh, Bill Speed, so he's just jogging his way into a run. Explore, navigate, keep looking around. No, I want to increase my sensitivity. I can't. Okay, so if something attacks me, I'm just, I'm just gone. Your voices. Am I going through here? Oh, I tried. I'm trying to do my job. You two will be the only staff on site for this rotation. I'm just saying, if the main gate's power fails, then there's no way in or out of the observatory. That's why there are backup generators. Jesus, why the hell are we even discussing this? Just don't you come running to me if you get locked in. If we get locked in, we won't be able to come running to you, will we? You let us worry about the clever stuff, and you can concentrate on sweeping up leaves and changing light bulbs. Happy? Now piss off. Ah, so. That was unnecessary. Just because you're angry with me doesn't mean you have to take it out on everyone else. Kate, can we just talk about this? No, mm. Stephen, I'm done. I just want to get out of this oh, place. Oh crap, they're moving. Our best chance of doing that. You prep the arrays. I'm heading up to Tower Six. Kate, I love you. I knew he was gonna say that. I love you. <laughs> you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. I know that. Come on, let's get started. Probably not what she wants to hear, buddy. What was that? That was awesome. So every time I come to this, I tilt my joystick. I still say joystick. People say I had a debate about this at Chick Fil A. Oh, it's called a controller. I call it a joystick. Cause when my hand touches this stick, I feel joy. Anyway. Guess I'm going on down. So we are not Kate. So I guess I am still Michael. I, RJ is still RJ. I got two Alice's. I'm Michael by day. I'm RJ by night. Today I'm everybody. Okay, Celestial Light. So we're following the story of some woman named Catherine. I'm trying to make sure I don't. What? Jeremy. Okay, that's what I was about to say. I don't know if there was going to be any important names or something I was going to have to remember. But I know Cat was like a major one. I know the lights did go this way, but can I go this way? I want to explore. Whoa, time is like really moving fast.
Just stare into the sun. Stare at it. Should I be standing here? I mean, Ty, okay. I was going to say, Ty looks like it's moving very fast. All right, now I got one going this way. So do I go that way or this way? I want to try to explore as much as possible. All right, obviously, telephone pole from the London. What's that, 1850 London telephone pole? I can still use that now. I just don't never see telephone booth down here in Tennessee. Who's that? Hello? Kate, if you can hear this, you need to shut down the optical array. It's using the observatory as a conduit to reach us, and it started spreading its range beyond the valley. Kate, we can't afford to let it do that. It's getting stronger. I'm going to call Clive back, and I'm going to force him to order the strike. I just don't see what other choice we have. God knows Clive, if can you hear me? We need help. Who are you? What's in the phones? Holy crap, so that's why I just got taken away. I see food, so I don't have to worry about starving. I have a bride, so that will make my transportation much more easy. Can I get the bike? Can I get the bike? Can I get the bike? I can hop on top of the bike, but I can't ride it. That will make me moving so much easier. Welcome to Yachtun. Please drive carefully. I mean, I can't drive at all. And these guys pulled over before they got whisked away. Bro, the, the certain burst of lights like freak, freaking me out. Like, all right, trying to build up my run. My character is supposed to be running, but oh, it's a lot of light. All right, do this right. Wait, tip my joystick right. Yeah. Don't be so hard on yourself. We've all had rejections. You haven't. <laughs> Come on. We'll look at the figures, tighten up the data, and resubmit. Your core idea is sound. You just got the numbers slightly wrong. Don't patronize me. I'm not patronizing you. I think you are a brilliant man, Dr. Appleton. Wait, they're walking up? Crap. I'm here, right? We're together, you and me. The alignment event tomorrow. It's yours, okay? You saw the opportunity, you ran the numbers. Even if they can't see it. I'm proud of you. Is that supposed to make me feel better? See you yeah. then. Look on the bright side, I'm around here. <laughs> You're a hero. Prodigal son returns, right? <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't erected a statue in your honor yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can laugh all you want. But I'll bet the parish council have a subcommittee working on that right now. <laughs> okay. I will try my best to make sure I'm understanding and getting the clues. Where, where am I? I'm assuming you are here. Yeah, I'm going down. Wait, I'm still here. So we're not. Wait. Zigzag. Going down. Oh, well, I could have went the other way. It would have just been a dead end. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fly and ride in my way back over here. So here we go. Alright, here we are. Back over here. Oh, I can't go nowhere anyway. But why did the light tell me to go? Oh, well, that's well, I suppose why. suppose from that we can assume that they really are serious about this whole quarantine thing. If Mrs. Boughton wandered off that way before they close the road, I suspect we'll never find her. Not until this whole thing blows over. Well, it's more than a little odd. I mean, this is Yorton, for goodness sake. There was no need for them to be so rude. Well, if they are so concerned that they are willing to close off the roads, I suspect they would argue that there is every need. What is certain is that for the time being, none of us are going anywhere. But he had a rifle, a soldier with a rifle, in Shropshire. The world's gone stark raving mad. I've a good mind to write to my MP. You do that, Barb. 
and I'll personally deliver it for you, once this blockade is removed anyway. Come on, Bob. I can't spend all day chasing pensioners around the valley. The surgery won't open itself. I need to grab some paracetamol when we get back as well. Cracking headache all of a sudden. Okay, stop shining in my face, I got you. Hold on, let me build up my speed. I got you, I got you, I got you. I mean, thought I was going the wrong way, but apparently not. Stop bursting light in my face. I ain't did it to get dark. See, so yeah, I just teleported over there. Thought I was really missing something. I didn't even get a chance to search. I just looked at the people and I was like walking away. So I'm trying to understand what's going on. We got surgeries, we got something in the phones, we got apparently some type of experimentation going not experimentation. Uh yeah, experimentation going on. A cigarette that is still hot. Was somebody here recently? Hello? There's a preheated cigarette. There are two preheated cigarettes. Was somebody here recently? Cleaning barrels, barrels. Hello? Anyone? There are three lit cigarettes. Four. Four. There were four people here. And there's one guy was smoking a cigarette at different tables. Uh, I believe there were four people here. Unless they were taking up to Rapture. Um, so if I just went poof. Oh. I hear sounds. Uh, that's my feet. That radio again. Alright, ready. You're not going to be creeping me out walking through the whole chasing me throughout the whole game hello hello hello, hello. there's a car right here I, I i think i'm familiar with driving sticks trying to interact with everything private parking for customers only radio again i keep looking but it makes no sense the area we picked the pattern up from can no longer be located on the scope. That's just not possible. You can see significant changes to the quality of the ambient light in that part of the sky. It's overexposed. Crap. Is that me? Did I walk too far away? Say it again. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking around. I looking, but it makes no sense. The area we picked the pattern up from can no longer be located on the scope. That's just not possible. You can see significant changes to the quality of the ambient light in that part of the sky. It's overexposed. Like a Polaroid left in direct sunlight. Okay. So, picking up some weird signals. But, I think my... I'm trying to figure out, like, what's the main question here? Like, no, what is my main objective here? Like, is it a why? Oh, yeah see me as an outsider here as well is that supposed to make me feel any better you know, i understand it's difficult that's all i'm saying your lot up at valis have never mixed with the local community people here they don't really understand what you do up there are you trying to get me to come to your church it's not just about faith it's about the community be involved be seen as part of it one of them <laughs> good morning father Lovely day. oh hello uh um, Mrs. Appleton, isn't it? It's Dr. Collins. Major scientist. Whatever next. Good morning, Barbara. <laughs> Father Weaver. You really think that's a community that will ever see me as one of them? Hmm. I can live with them staring at me. If they just stay out of my way. She just walked up behind me. I would say, whoa, who was this voice in my ear? <laughs> She just walked up on me like literally. I had to stand on the wall like, wait, what? Or right, what's that getting at? So yeah, my main question is like, I guess what is going on? 
I guess that's my main question. What is going on? Because I see she's a scientist. They're doing experimentations, recording some types of waves or something that's like in the phone lines. And then you got right now we're following the, st the story of Jeremy, who is apparently a. Uh, excuse me. I don't know. Pastor. If he's not a pastor, then he's uh, what they call a church boy. I mean, no, that's kind of that sounds like kind of label. He just goes to church. Any animals? Did any animals go to rapture? So I don't know if I am Kate or I'm following the story of Kate, but again, I don't think I'm Kate. I think I am me. RJ is me, and there's no one like me. All right, playground. Any spontaneous? Any spontaneous? Yep. Cool. Uh, I see Mr. Light. Mr. Light's trying to guide me. Hold on. I'm coming for you. You see me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming. I'm coming. Wait, where are you going? Okay, I'll be with you in a second. The light was confusing me. I was like, where do I go? And then he's just like, follow your nose. The fruity tasty shows. And I was like, okay. And I don't know, man. <laughs> the, the light was giving me mixed feelings. And I bet he's gonna... Did I just hear rustling? Somebody raking? The light was giving me mixed feelings. And I'm really trying to explore to make sure I capture everything. But I don't know what I can and cannot explore so like all right lock house sketch all right and here comes the light coming to hunt me down again i mean how do you escape something that senses my presence i hear another radio but this radio is going to hunt me down it is chasing me all right can i enter here see i can go in here Do, 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 do. Tick, talk, and thing in here. Things are to clean. Nobody wasn't having to be cooking before they were taken up to Rapture. Oh crap, that was close. Yes, Mr. Light, I hear you Hello? outside. Oh shoot. Hello. Oh, Amanda, I thought you'd left town. We tried. We? We did try. But they've closed all the roads and you can't get through. And and then George and Ben said they had headaches. And then they started bleeding. And... But it was horrible. They were so scared. So Neil turned the car around and, um, and we saw the house was open and... I know we shouldn't have, but we just came in to clean up the kids, and... And then Neil and I started bleeding as well, and... It is all over my blouse. Everyone was so tired. It's all right, Amanda. Everything will be all right. Just try and calm down and tell me where Neil and the children are. They're upstairs. They were tired, and Neil said they could take a nap in the bed, and... You know, we thought Barbara wouldn't mind the only children, and... And I was so tired, so Neil took them up. He took them upstairs to tuck them in. And? Later that? That was six hours ago. He never came back down. It's a bit too frightened to go and look. Why don't we go and look together? I can hold your hand if you like. You think I could manage that, yes? Will you please help me? Of course I'll help you. Mm. 
Neil? Neil, are you there? Stay out there. Shut up. Wow, this sent major tears up my body. It was like, I was like, if she went up there and tucked them in, I was like, they're dead. I was like, they're so dead. And she was like, that's six hours ago. And I was like, wait, all of them are dead? So what type of, is, is there a disease going around? And also I want to point out, I saw Mr. Light in the reflection of the, uh, so that's very good detail design right there. I saw Mr. Light reflection in the painting. That's why I turned around when I was like, like in my face. See, now I'm going to have to start doing a webcam. I'm going to have to start doing face cam because my expression, I was like, shh, be quiet, Mr. Light. I'm trying to listen to the story. And Mr. Light's like, come on. I'm like, I would have missed this. So is there a disease going around? They're coughing up blood. Alright, so I guess that's the door I gotta enter to. The obviously cracked. Neil? Neil. Ah, oh boy. It's gonna get sadder. I mean, I might not sound like it, but they actually did send chills. Yeah, they're gone. They coughed up blood and. Very pretty in here. I like it. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure they were good kids. They're really good kids. Alright, so I got this ever impatient light trying to rush me. Whew. Okay. Everything in the shed. I still hear this ever haunting radio telling me the same digits. <laughs> I don't think I could have even wrote those numbers down. I could have just been walking around. She would have just kept repeating it in my head. One six one four one five one seven twenty five. Kind of don't get why then she said it like that. Fourteen. I mean, yeah, sixteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, twenty-five, twenty-five, twenty-five. So are they like random lights just flying around? I mean, he found me again, so he's gonna bug me. Oh, I gotta shake it. Oh, I missed the light. What are you doing? I saw you, I saw you doing that. Stay away from me. Don't come near me. This is people's property. You're scaring them. It's all over the village. It's got into everything. It's so fast. What are you talking about? It's traveling down the wires. Dear God, man, you've lost your mind. Where is Kate? What have you done with her? Don't you understand? It's breaching the quarantine and adapting. Give me that bloody can. Hand it over, Appleton. Look, get off. No, it's time to stop it. We did little shit. Give it's me mine. Give me the stop can. it. I Don't need it. Grow up! starting to manifest itself everywhere. Stephen, come back! Oh, Christ! Mr. Light, should I trust you? Something is manifesting? Holy crap, this game is great! <laughs> Oh crap, oh, saving. Okay, I just went blurry for a second. Anything else? Uh, I see that's closed, but it probably is not. I can check. Something is out manifesting? Is it Mr. Light? You see the presence leading me to my death. The music is just hiding his ever so sinister plan. Narrow road. I need a map. I don't know where I'm going. I saw Mr. Light go over there. Like, where is he? Because he's on the private area. He's on the bridge. I guess he's trying to make his way over here to me. I don't know why I just gendered this light as a he. Wait, it should be it. It is trying to get to me. I just... Open up. I just called it Mr. Light. It 
can even reach the back Free. fence, silly good buddy. Well, roads <laughs> and fishes we can manage, Father but gardens Jeremy, on his little bit. Might okay. I have a word? Mrs. Boyles, of course. Ah, oh, so he is a priest. Excuse well, us, I said a pastor, he's a priest. See you back later. Cheerio, Wendy. I was speaking to Barbara. She said there were some irregularities about Mary's morphine. Good grief. I mean, those are private medical records. Barbara should know better than to be discussing that sort of thing with you. If Dr. Wade finds out, he'll have no choice but to suspend her. Damn it, Wendy! Your brother is grieving. Mary was sick for a long time, and I'm glad it's over for her. Go and support Frank. He needs you now. God knows what you did. Huh. He sees. I just pray you can overlook Mary's weakness, but you, a man of the cloth, if you, have an issue you with... bring shame on this parish. If you have an issue with me, I suggest you write to the Bishop of the Diocese. I have parishioners to attend to. Excuse me. Mr. Luck, get those. Stop, stop, stop. In my face. Nope, I'm going someplace you can't enter. Yeah, you can't enter buildings. <laughs> I figured that out. Cause after you didn't enter the house, I realized you couldn't enter buildings, sir. My safety from you. All right, so what was that name? Barb, not Barbara, Wendy. Wendy seems like one of those uh, old uh, religious ladies. Can I walk through the bushes? Oh, I cannot, I gotta be silver here. But Wendy seems like one of those uh, overprotective, sneaky suspicions. You know, you know those typical old ladies. Keep an eye on neighbors. Not in the good way, but in the nosy way. That's what that's what she seems like. Is there anything significant? Want to surprise me? No. Yeah? Is it significant here? Okay. Something's wrestling in the bushes, and it's getting dark. Does it get dark in this game? I mean, I don't exactly have a flashlight or a lantern. Somebody was, what's this, a golf club? I don't, I th I'm thinking a tree hedger. I'm stuck on the door. I'm stuck on the door. Okay. Ah, it's dark. Also, yes, I am getting jump scared by the surprisingly, wow, this is nice, by the surprise voices, because I just be walking and wondering, like, I gotta go to something big for something to happen, but it's just really be like small stuff, like entrances, it's just be like, bam, you found something. What's back here? Nope, can't get through there. Anything at all. Jesus souls. Looks like they was having church and they got raptured up. Oh, okay. So everybody did get raptured up. You can see by the by the sparks and specks. I'm trying to hold to run, but my dude is like, respect the place and no running. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so I guess I'll continue on then. Okay, so glad I'm... I'm so glad I'm exploring. Man, it's here though. Mr. The light is over there by the park. I mean, maybe I'm missing something because he's over there by the park. And I was trying to spawn something, but I wasn't. And there is more than one light. No, it's not. All right, let me hear from around before he surprised to take me. If you could just have a word with them, perhaps, and they listen to you. Well, I really don't see what it has to do with me at all. The village looks up to you. I just think with what's been happening with Mr. Coles and Wendy. Mrs. Boughton and the others, that people need somewhere to talk, to feel safe. 
Perhaps they don't think that your church is somewhere they feel particularly safe. I don't need your forgiveness, Wendy. Or theirs. Whosoever thou art that judgest, for wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself. Romans chapter 2, verse 1. Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them. Matthew chapter 6, verse 1. <laughs> it's not my judgment you should be worried about, Father. But fine. I'll talk to Barbara. Ask her to put a note up in the surgery about an extra service. Will that do? Oh, Mr. Life. Oh, I thought I was safe from you. Oh, my gosh. You just came dead in my face. Oh, you cheeky little monkey. I was trying to interact with Wendy. Who was Barbara? I hope Barbara wasn't the one that was uh, trying to get away. I'm, I'm already trying. I'm trying to remember names, but I'm sick to get them at the same time. I don't like that. Oh, the light just shining dead in my face. I'm expecting a hunting radio to shout in the distance. And no radio. Alright. I don't know how long this game is. Which is the key element of all games. You never know how long it will take. Alright, so I guess things with them signs on the doors means I can't enter. So what about number 15? Number 15, feel unlucky. Feel unlucky. Nope. Oh, look. All right, I see Robert's graphs auto repair. So let's start something. Show me something. Show me something, show me something. My character slow down, okay. Any funny business in seven minutes in heaven? No funny bit, no seven minutes in heaven. Here we go. Meg, come and have a look at this. Sam and Meg. Believe it. Charlie. Jeremy reckons someone had been raiding all the empty houses. He said a load of stuff had been taken. What's up? It looks like someone's been collecting their own supplies. Bastard. Well, we've got enough stock in the warehouse to keep the entire village going for months. We should get a truck. What, well, and go and get all of it now? Yeah, why not? It's Appleton. It's that bloody crackpot, Stephen Appleton. I'm gonna fucking do him. Sam, it's fine. We'd better get moving before the weather turns. You come in. We'll swing by the camp and get Rachel on the way back. Sam, Meg, Charlie, Rachel. All right. What was he doing in here? Uh, Sam, then Charlie, the next one. Okay. Try to really remember these names, man. I know the only key names I remember right now is is Catherine and uh Alright, so What is the P? Is that the hotel? No, the hotel was up there. I was at the bus station. Oh, so there are key points where I need to go too. They're they're in they're in black. Okay, okay, okay. So, Mr. Light, will you get off my case? So, been to the church. I have not been to the P. No, I have been to the P. Cause that was the house. Yeah, that was the house. So, gas station, bus station. So, I just go up from here. Just keep going up until I get to Tipworth, Tipworth Forest. So this also helps me to know what, how much I'm gonna be playing this game. So I'm probably when I get to tip work four, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop this recording. So on where we go. This is the gas station. Uh, yes, Mr. Light. Yes, Mr. Light. What what is it? Saying I missed something. I see. Whoa, 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 whoa. My vision. Wait, somebody died here? Yeah. It's 
away from the main road. Not many people are moving around now. I was looking for Dr. Wade. Listen, Frank. I don't know what's happened, but your Stephen seems to think he's responsible. I reckon he is. He said, uh, Kate's still up at the observatory, but the gates are locked. Frank, there's going to be a rescue soon, I'm sure of it. They'll send planes or something. Well, they'll send planes, all right. <laughs> this pattern of his, we're in the center of it. Which means if they intend to stop it, we're right in the firing line. Man, I really feel like I'm in a movie, too. This is great. <laughs> this, is, this is terrific. Crap is dark in this house. I think that was pretty much it. Ah, okay. So he believes away in the bath on Frank. So we found out what happened to Frank. Thanks, that dark. Alright, so Mr. Light, I guess you are slick helping me. But like everybody is coughing up blood everywhere. Alright, so I definitely need to go back to the park. Let me check over here. I don't think I will be making it to tip work before I end this video. I think I'm just like corral this area, figure out the secrets, and then come back. It's like there's a light in this surgery here. Doc, I'm not feeling okay. Nobody's here. Isolation's kicking in. Excuse me, I'm uh. Oh, you shoot! Are. There's a cure patient for my long out there. Just send them to the village hall with the others, please, Bob. Doctor, people are scared. Mrs. Gable just called me and said her husband's vanished. She was very frightened. She said there was blood coming up from his ears and his what nose. What the hell do you want me to do? Until they lift the quarantine, we're not going anywhere. Just tell them to drink plenty of fluids, stay warm, and follow the instructions on the radio. Doctor. Phil, please, you have a duty to your patient. Your nose. Seriously, what is happening though? One, yeah, you're hunting me, Steel. All right. What is happening though? Quarantine, radiation, something coming in the phone lines, everybody's bleeding. I are jeez. What is happening here, yo? What is going on? Oh, what is going on? Frick, I'm need to go to that house. Take a speak. What is happening though? I'm trying to piece together the information, but I do not have enough clues here. I mean, I can't just hop over that. And I'm physically not able to hop over that. There's the light over there by the playground waiting on me. Number eight. Oh. All right, sure. I really thought this house was something. So something with this playground. I really feel like I'm missing it. Anything at all? That looks fun. I ain't never wrote. I never did one of those. I know this bridge has to be something. This bridge gotta be something. Oh yeah. I'm back to the right. There we go. Is everyone right? Get out of my way. Where's Kate? Where do you think she is? Stephen, what's going on? Screw Kate. It's all her fault anyway. What's that mark on your face? Stephen! 
Steven! Okay. There's still light coming for you. Yeah, yeah, here I come, here I come, still lights. So I can breathe, still. So. Is somebody on the steps? Are you there? Can you hear me? Are, are you out there, you bastard? You got them all. Uh, you got them all. Jesus Christ, help me, oh Lord. Give me strength. Hello? Hello, is, is anyone there? Is anyone still there? Oh, oh. Is it the You're thing? still here then. I should have expected that. Come on then. Let's get this over and done with. I've got my parishioners to attend to. Their line has gone out through all the earth. And their words to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun. Our Father. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Okay, okay, okay. Something fun things is happening. Wow, so Jerry was the last survivor. So what happened to Catherine? Wow. Oh 
my gosh! That is so cool! Oh my gosh! I am just in awe right now. Are these everybody that's going to Rapture? Mr. Light, this is what you was trying to show me? This is... <laughs> uh, but yeah, don't... Oh, okay, now we're following the story of Wendy. I'm gonna let the lady in the background keep singing. That was something. Okay. I'm getting into it. I'm really getting into it. I mean, I was already into it from the beginning, but it's getting more interesting. And I'm still trying to figure out what's happening, what's going on, and who's taking on the rapture. Because, like I said, in my head, I'm thinking biblical. But that might not be the case, because now they're talking about it's some entity. But we'll find out more in the next video, so thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next episode. Stay awesome.